Hello and welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I showed how you can take DVDs and Blu-ray movies and you can create a digital backup of them for your own storage purposes and convert them over to a format that you can then transfer over to a USB stick or something like that so you could actually view them. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a actual installation disc such as a video game CD or a video uh, a video game DVD some kind of format on a disc over to what is known as a disc image or an ISO an ISO basically is a, a disc image file format which it just straight up copies the DVD exactly or the CD exactly the way it is and it saves it into an ISO file, which you can then burn back to another blank disk and have virtually an identical CD. So how this works, I have right here brought up my uh, official Doom 2 released CD from 1994. And yes, this definitely will not run on any computers that we have today it requires specific setup uh, primarily from 1994 but I want to make a backup of this CD so the software we're going to be using is one called DVD to ISO and this is a free software it's been free f as far as I can remember I have used this product specifically this product back in my Windows 95 and Windows XP era whenever I was doing this back then and it still works today so basically what we're going to do I want to close out of this because I actually opened it up before I had the CD in there you want to open it up whenever you do have the CD available and as you can see right here it is now in the H drive it is doomed to CD and I can go down here save my ISO file wherever I want to save it to so I'm going to put it in my desktop and save this as a new folder and test uh, nope let's just new folder and yeah doom 2 okay open that up and my file name is going to be doom 2 save all right and now I can go ahead and hit create and since this is only like a couple hundred megabytes it shouldn't take very long to actually write the file and what it's doing is reading the CD it's copying over everything exactly the way it is now this will not break any copyright uh, any any copyright barriers that are in there if that is protected it's going to copy that protection it's going to copy everything exactly the way it is so you are essentially making a backup of that disk and that's it okay so it says the ISO image was saved so let's go ahead open that up and we will see if it properly saved let's go down to doom 2 open that up and as you see right here we have a doom ISO and I currently have a uh, software installed that's called power ISO you can use power ISO to basically have a virtual drive to where you can see what's inside of the CD and I've used power ISO for many years Windows has actually uh, if I'm not mistaken has it its own uh, has its own version of an ISO reader so you don't really need a third-party application anymore but if you do not have a ISO reader Power ISO works really well. So if I go down to Power ISO and I go to mount the image to the F drive, let's wait for it to come up. It's mounting the image and now it should be in the F drive. So as we see right here, a CD F drive, I open that up. That's exactly the same files that are in the H drive. So yeah, we just made a backup of the CD. Now what if you want to burn this CD back to a blank CD? Well, there's another free application that I know of that I've been using for years as well. And that is called Free ISO Burner. So let's go ahead and go to that website. This has also been available for free since the 90s and 
like before, it works and it works very well. As you can see right here, it's supported all the way back to Windows XP. And I have it brought up right here. So basically all you have to do is select your ISO file that we previously had. So it's in the desktop and new folder, I believe it's five. Yep, Doom 2. And there it is. And then we can select whatever disk drive that we want to burn it to and we click burn. That's as simple as it is. So with this, the, these two applications, you can create backups of your files and you can also create duplicate disk of your files just in case you ever lose your original. You can take your backup and burn a new CD for it. Again, this will not overwrite any of the copyright protections. It will make an identical copy of the disk. So you will still have to have the valid keys and everything else that you would typically have to have with any video game software. Anyway, I hope that this has helped you. If it has, go ahead, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. And thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.